Real Time Voice Changing is here and it's available for free with a low performance impact. In this video, you're going to see how you can set it up and how to install it, some specific use cases and how to set it up for VTubing as well as using it for a microphone for Discord or VR chat. Setting up Real Time Voice Changing is actually a lot more easier than it used to be. All you got to do is go to this GitHub link that I'm going to be pasting in the description down below in my YouTube video. And if you scroll down below, um, a lot of it's going to be in Japanese, but you can see right here the different versions that you have available to download. So you have the Mac version and two different Windows versions. So you can see here that one of them here is meant for AMD and one of them is meant for just normal. So we want to be, it, depending on the graphics card that you have or the computer that you have, you might want to download a different version. So in this case, we are going to be downloading a Windows CUDA version, which we're going to be downloading right here. And it's going to bring you to um, Hugging Face. And then here you're going to see the same things listed again. So all you got to do is just make sure that you download the right one. So you see the one right here. This is just all of them listed because I think this is just the directory and you can all go ahead and press this and it will download it. So once it's finished downloading, you'll notice that it is quite a big download. You should also, um, then you'll have to unzip it. So I'd recommend unzipping it to a new folder like we have right here. Personally, I like to use 7-zip, which I'll also put a link to down in the description. And we're just going to extract the files right here by right clicking it. So if you're using Windows 11, you'll, what you'll have to do is if you don't have that option, just right click it, go to show more options and then 7-zip and then extract here. Once it's finished extracting, you can just go ahead and open the folder. There's going to be a lot of stuff in it. Most of the stuff, if you just want to try it out, you don't have to worry about. All you got to do is go right to the bottom and you're going to look for something called start underscore HTTP or HTTPS dot bat. And you're gonna go ahead and double click it and you're gonna see a command prompt open. So what, what's happening right now is that it's downloading some of the dependencies that it requires. All you have to do is just wait for the download to finish so that it can basically install all of the extra stuff that it needs. Once it's finished downloading everything, you're gonna get a Windows security alert. So basically you need to give it elevated permissions. So we're going to go ahead and say, allow access. Your client should look like this. If you do not have a prompt like this in the beginning, or you don't see this UI, all you got to do is just restart it, close everything down and just restart it. And this UI should pop up. So we're going to go ahead and click start. It should have a bunch of presets. Since I've already used it, you might have a screen that's like this. If you have a screen like that's like this, just to try it for real time voice changing. All you got to do is change to RVC. So real time voice changer. In order to set it up, all you got to do is it comes with preset amount of voices. So in this case, it comes with, I believe five. And if you want to get access to the other one, it should be available. If you go here and you click download sample, and then there's an extra one right there, which is cool. And then you, if you have your own pre-trained voice models, you can also add these as well. A lot of this will depend on your computer and what your computer is capable of. If you have like a 30 series card, like a 3090 or a 40 series card, your settings can actually probably be a lot better than mine. People that I've shown this to that have 3090s or 40 series cards, they can actually change the delay, the processing basically down to 40. And, and not have any weird artifacting problems. Since my graphics card is not that great, I'm still with a 2070 Super. I put mine at 512 because I find that that's where I get the best results. The, the feature detection, personally, I put mine on Harvest. I find that I get a better results that way. Next, you have two options of it running as a client or running as a server. A better result when you run it on server. All you gotta do next is change your, select your microphone. Make sure that you select from the same bracket group. So we're gonna select my microphone here. And then we're going to select my speaker output. All you got to do is just press start. As soon as you start speaking, it'll start processing the voice. So this is how you know it's working. Let me go ahead and change my audio settings so you can actually hear the AI voice. So I have, I have, remember, I have quite a large delay on mine. If you have a better graphics card, you can bring the delay down. But yeah, you can see that um, it sounds pretty good with these settings, right? So you're like, okay, well, now that you showed me how to set this up, how do I even use this? So what you can do if you are a VTuber or you're streaming, depending on the processing or chunk that you're using, you can see the delay that's actually calculated right here. And then in OBS, all you gotta do, go to filters, render delay. Because my graphics card is a little bit stinky, I need to use a lot of render delay. But now you can see that everything is matching up just right and perfect. So 
So don't pay attention to me in the corner, pay attention to me right here on the screen. And you can see that everything is matching up properly. You can use this for VTubing, you can also use this for VR chat, but if you're like, okay, well, how do I use this with a microphone? Things get a little bit more complicated. So I'm using a Go XLR, but if you don't have a Go XLR, you can use something called Voice Meter Banana. It's basically like um, a mixing board, but on your computer. Essentially, the idea is that all you gotta do is make sure that your speaker output changes into your virtual microphone output. I'll put like a little diagram on the screen on my YouTube video and you'll be able to see kind of like how that's gonna work. But you can see that my microphone is not going into my broadcast next, but my music is going into my broadcast next. So what you're actually hearing on my end is only my music output, which is the same output that I have that to right here. So in here, the broadcast remix is registered as a microphone so i can use this in discord or in vr chat so this is this system is also compatible with um your own voice train stuff if you want to do that or if you can find any voice models online but in this case specifically um i just in experimenting with the four builds and ones that come with it thank you for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you wanted to see other videos please click on these funny little boxes or please hit that subscribe button